Use the quadratic equation y equals x squared plus 6x minus 12 to answer each of the following questions. Find the vertex of that same equation using the formula x equals the opposite of b divided by 2a. And this will be given to you. And we're going to write our answer as an ordered pair. So eventually when we get the vertex as the ordered pair, I should say, so let's start with labeling A is 1, B is 6, and C is negative 12. So when we fill this in, it's going to be, I'm going to write it over here by the axis of symmetry because this is going to end up to be X equals, um, so X equals negative 6 over 2 times 1. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Type it in your calculator if you need to. I did negative 6 divided by 2. So what happens then is that negative 3 is going to be the x value of our turning point. And we're going to take that value of negative 3. We're going to put it back into this equation wherever we see x. So it's going to be negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 minus 12. So sorry, I'm running out of space a little bit, but if I pull up my calculator here and uh, type that in, remember we need parentheses around the negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 uh, minus 12. That's going to give us our vertex of, or a y value of our vertex, which is also known as the turning point of negative 21. Um, with regard to the maximum or minimum, A is 1, which is a positive number, and when it's a positive number, our graph would look like this, and I'm never going to know if you type it into your calculator and look at the picture, but that means that this is going to be a minimum value, and our y-intercept is 0, C, again here's C, so this is going to be 0, negative 12. If we look at problem uh, 22, looking at the transformations that have occurred, if you took notes on that chart, I would pull out that chart, which is helpful, but the 2 causes our function to have a vertical stretch. Minus 8 means that we're going to move our graph right. Eight and plus 9 means that we're going to move our graph up 9. And letter B, looking at the transformations, the 1 half is going to be a vertical compression. And I didn't write it on A, so I need to go back and do that, but it's a vertical compression by 1 half. This one back here on letter A is a vertical stretch by 2. The negative inside of the function means that we're going to reflect over the y-axis, and you can't see that on your picture. And then the minus 2 is going to move our graph down 2.